All right, so I'm back. A lot of stuff going on. I got Bibles I got to send out on the 30th. There's two Bibles I got to send out. We'll send them out last week. I wasn't able to. So if you're one of those two people, uh, they will be sent out on the 30th. Um, I'll be reviewing a very, very... This is a, a, a class of its own type Bible. It weighs about 12 pounds. And it is the, the pulpit Bible from Crossway. It's, of course, ESV. And it's cowhide overboard. And I actually bought a caliper. I'm going to start measuring the exact millimeters and how thick a cover is, so I'll be able to measure that. So I'll get the caliper out and all that. I'll show you just a little quick look, and then we'll dive down with the with the, my my better camera, and we'll be able to get some close-ups on that. So let me bring it out of the box. This thing is massive. It's just massive, but it is really nice. If you check out those raised hubs, the tooling work. That is amazing. It is. It's got four ribbon markers. J just done beautifully. And that cowhide, you, cowhide, you can really, really smell it. And it's got like a brick of gold for art gilding. Done very, very nice. It's actually done by R. R. Donnelly. So, like I've said many times, that's my favorite uh, publisher in China. Not my favorite publisher of all time, of course not. But as uh, far as if you're going to get something done in China, you go to R. R. Donnelly and Sons. So. Uh, they do a good, really, really good job. And uh, you'll see it when we do the close-ups. Let me put this back in there, and then we'll get to the close-ups. All right? All right, I'll try to make this short and sweet. This thing is massive, <clears throat> as you can tell. This is bigger than the actual desk that I review all my other Bibles on. But um, let's get to the dimensions real quick. Um this is uh, 13 inches tall, so that's, it's a pretty tall Bible. And then it's uh, 9 and 3 quarters in width. Now, I did do a measurement with the thickness because it is cowhide overboard. I don't know if you can see that um, too well. But it's a very thick, thick. Uh, it came out to, got a caliper to measure this kind of stuff, and it came out to 10.87 millimeters. Really thick cover. I'm going to start measuring the covers when I do... All the rest of my Bible reviews as well, but uh, that one by far is really, really thick cover. Um, I might have to do a follow-up video because there's so much to say about this one. It does have a beautiful feel to the liner. Whatever they use, the material, it feels top of the line. And this leather too is just amazing. Now it does have your raised tubs, and I believe it's just four. Let's see here: one, two, three, and four. And then you have that beautiful tooling work. And then you got the ESV logo, English Standard Version, and Crossway down here. So uh, this this Bible is massive. And then if you see the front, you got tooling work all the way around here, coming around with the ESV logo, Holy Bible, gilded very nicely, and it's impressed in there as as long as gilded. And then uh, really nice markings here. Let me just uh, make this easy. Now this paper is very opaque and um, it does it does a wonderful job I mean and the size of this text is is just massive I think it's 12.5 font let me see I got a box around here 12 point lexicon it looks bigger to me than that but that's what they say it is and it, it's just massive so you do have your textual footnotes down here which is good and um, there is sections, what they call selections in the, in the back, which a lot of um, pulpit Bibles have. It is not red letter. I wish I could get a better shot of this for you guys. Maybe I'll do, like I said, a follow-up video. You do have a, a table of weight and weights and measures. Uh, you have a responsive readings, what they call selections. So you, if you want to talk about creation, it has all the writings in the back, and it has different subjects here, the fall and all, or in order of the Bible. So... And also it has four ribbon markers. Uh, they're single satin, uh, but they're really nice ribbon markers. I mean, they're built really nice. And they're, they're I'd say, that, yeah, they're definitely wider than 10 millimeters. They're wider than that. But um, the paper on this, I would have to say it's probably 100 GSM. I thought at first 70, but after doing a lot of looking at this, I was saying that, I think, on the introduction, it's got to be up there close 70 to 100 GSM. It's a really thick paper and there's areas where you can see they had used some kind of cloth material uh, it's really solid paper 
But uh, there's not really much to say about it. It's a pretty plain Jane Bible, but it's just massive and it looks really nice. I think this would be like a great Bible for any preacher to have in his pulpit. Uh, if he uses a manuscript uh, for family devotions, um, anything like that. In fact, I will do an up update on this video where I can get a better shot of that, uh, of this Bible, because, like I said, it's massive. It's twice the size of the Preacher's Bible from um, from uh, Brother MacArthur, uh, what he did. It's, it's It said it was 12 pounds just in shipping, and I believe it's like 10 to 11 pounds, the actual Bible. So... Um, that's just a really quick review, and like I said, I will definitely do a follow-up after I get a little bit more insights on it. I, want, I do want to get more specs on it, and I'll be back with that in a soon video. So until then, good day, and God bless.